Hi fellow traders. I hope everybody had a good day today. Um, another slow day for me. I had one trade yesterday. Well, I had two trades, but on one ticker yesterday and one trade today. Just kind of a snoozer, but you know, that's what I expected this week. You know, as far as I'm concerned, this is the last week of summer, you know, the week leading up into Labor Day. And then after next week, things should start, you know, picking back up. I don't think the election is going to have a whole lot to do with it. As long as there's not a big shift in the polling numbers right now, I don't think that's got anything or will affect the market. Um, you know, Hillary tweets and that kind of had a little jump in the biotechs, but you know, overall, I think we're going to continue to see some improvement in our, our trades daily. Now, you know, being a day trader, I only care about what's happening that day. I only care about the news for that day. I don't care about what happened yesterday. I don't care about what they predict will happen tomorrow. All I'm focused on is what's happening that day. And that's what I'm trading. Now, there are trades like today that you've seen me do this summer, and it's one of the things that I've had to adapt to in order to try to make a little bit of money is, you know, I'll trade a move, and once a lot of the volatility is gone out of it, if I believe and I see that it's going to fade all day, then the mentality I take on is that of a swing trader. So I'm not watching every tick. I'm just waiting for it to hit points and then, you know, take off at the at these points. It's just that instead of watching it over a period of a couple of days, I'm watching it over a period of a couple of hours. And that, you know, really keeps me focused. Unfortunately, today. I didn't keep focus on it and made a couple mistakes, but you know, we'll cover that in a few. Um, this morning, DSW uh, hit my scan, but it wasn't long before it fell off. But by then, I'd already vetted it and I loved the chart. And I was looking for this move at the open, I was looking for a loss. Of this and, and ironically this is identical to the trade that I did yesterday or the same move I was looking for yesterday on MYL and you know I'm gonna cover that trade in a minute but this was the same type move you had the 200 and yesterday's close right there the red the green line but this thing went red before it opened and I I was there I was right there had the plan in place, ready to take this trade, but just hesitated. Um, just I, for some reason, I did not have the conviction. Well, I know why. Uh, it wasn't a whole lot of volume, and I wanted to trade a thousand shares. And instead of me going back and and saying, you know, I can put five hundred in, instead of me doing that, I just didn't trade it. And had I gone in 500 shares right here, this would have been a beautiful, beautiful trade. You know, I would have taken 250 off here. And I'd have been waiting to see what happened with this five minutes going in the open. And I would have covered this thing right before open. Um, that's what I like to do. And these are the type moves that, I, that I've seen that I've tracked for months pre-market that's helped me get my confidence in trading pre-market but just didn't do it today just you know I guess it, maybe it was greed or, or whatever wanting to take the whole thing but um, just missed that and I've had trouble with thinkorswim every day this week even Friday as soon as the bell rings the platform freezes and there's nothing moving. So I have to shut down, restart, and bring everything back up. And by then, this first five-minute candle is printed. 
And this I was looking at for a five minute open range breakout. But I guess thankfully I didn't get in. I didn't get my thing back in time. Well, this still would have worked out. It would have been a nice little move. But that's what I was looking at next. Because I wanted to see it go back up, possibly test this for another crack at this level. But it didn't. It kind of stopped here at this 2469 level, turned here. And, you know, I didn't get frustrated. I waited and I was like, I'm just going to take the trade off the VWAP. If it bounces here, I'm going to take it for the move up. If it fades it, I'm going to take it for the move down. Um, and this 2335 level was significant to me because let's look at the daily chart. Or I'm, let's try to look at the daily chart. This think and swim is not doing it what it's supposed to do all right here's a daily chart i was looking at this 50 this is the 50 day and it, this morning it was right here at 2335 so i felt that level was going to be significant and turns out you know it was it was significant here because this is where it tapped going into open and right here this level held it open and this is what it pushed up off of so my target was going to be this level here and my ultimate target was going to be this 2287 because I, I really thought we could get this today so I waited and I got in under the VWAP and I felt pretty good about it uh, even though we had this 2411 level here I didn't feel it was going to give us any trouble as long as we were under the VWAP everything was trending down so I felt pretty good about it um, my first cover was here at 2370 my next cover was going to be at this 2335 level so after this first cover automatically my stop becomes the nine moving average and I'm going to trail it down so we did get some stop you know bouncing and consolidating here but as long as I didn't claim this nine moving average and trade above it this was going to be good so I kept it on now it kind of got hung up here at this half dollar mark so instead of me waiting and, and holding it to 2335 I went ahead and took another quarter off here and that pretty much ate up my chance of covering here so my next target was going to be 2287 this 2315 I didn't think was significant but you know I did have some respect for it because it was here but I was expecting it to get down to cl at least close to this 2287 and as I saw this lower deviation band inching down, I felt even better about getting this. Now, the problem happened, you know, I held through all of this. Unfortunately, I dozed off around here. And I missed covering it here at 23. It was consolidating around here all this time. And I completely missed it. Completely missed it. And by the time I saw it, um, it was back up toward this level here. So I went ahead and took some off here. I took a quarter off here. So that, no, I took half off here. That's I took half off here, a, quarter, a half of what I had left. I took off here. And left the, the other piece on to see if I could get back but unfortunately things started happening right before I had to leave to go get my son I was answering some people back trying to clear out my messages and completely forgot I still had 300 shares sitting on this thing and so now I'm stuck in this uh, when I got back home I realized that I was in this and it was sitting here at 23 
but there were no offers. So I, I couldn't get anything there. Um, there was some sitting at 23.33, which I would have taken gladly, but nothing. Um, but then it came back to, I think, 23.05 or something. Um, just nothing. So um, at this point, I'm just a little stuck right now. But just a mental error, um, not really in the game. And really, it was because I had this this swing trade mentality you know i wasn't staying on top of this thing and you know i had alert set but i didn't have an alert for 23 i had one set for 2287 so it would have dinged and alerted me if it got here or close to here but i probably should have put one on 23 but hindsight's 2020 but that was my trade today on dsw uh, wasn't all that great, but, you know, it did pay some bills, so I can't complain about it. Uh, NYL was my trade yesterday. Let's see if Think of Swim will bring that up for me. Ah, it did it. Now, this was another ticker that uh, hit my scan early yesterday but then it started selling off prior to open and it dropped off my scan but i'd already vetted it already liked the levels saw the big opportunities and just you know kept it on because I, I really thought that this would give us the big opportunity but unfortunately you know again i had to restart my platform and I had the conviction up on the 4409. This was a key level in, in, in um, this is a daily level that was key in pre-market because this is what the stock rejected off of pretty much. You know, yeah, we had some, you know, we did get a candle up above it, but it couldn't hold it. So this was a, a level I was looking to short off of. So when I brought it back up, this candle was printing and I wanted to take this thing short. But guess what? I started overanalyzing this thing again and I did not take it. So here again, the, what I was looking at was the nine moving average, the, the VWAP. And I'm like, well, it's over all of that. No kidding. Look at it. Fall. It's, it's, it had turned down. But, you know, in that split second, I let it hold me up. And on this stock, you can see how fast it washed out. So I missed the opportunity. This was the trade plan that I had in place at for the open. Rejection of this and a fade down to this level. Possibly a bounce off of here, back up, or we would lose this. And a bounce here on the on the 200, but this thing washed out pretty good. Now I could have reacted to this thing several different ways. I could have been mad and pissed off, and just lose my cool, or I could go back and reset and look for a um opportunity to get back in. Well, this thing bounced off of the half dollar mark, but it wasn't a level here, so I didn't have conviction to take it for a reversal. So what I did, I waited to see if it was going to test this red to green line. It had already gone red, so I was going to see that if it was going to be have enough to get back over this or if it was going to reject. So it rejected here, rejected here, and when this candle opened and pushed up, and it got slammed back at the nine, I had conviction to take it. So I got short here at 42.99. I missed this big move and I missed this bounce here, but I didn't let it get to me. I sat back and was cool, kept my cool because I knew that this stock had plenty of opportunity down here. This was a clean window 
and this was you know perfect for me to you know make my my goal that day so I got in here 42.99 and it was a nice move I uh, took some off here I always like to take some halfway off if I have a nice window between levels and I'm glad I did because that helped me you know hold on through this if I had not covered some here I might have been panicked out and sold everything so covering here helped me and you know we got the test here and it pulled back and really I like to take some at the half dollar mark too I didn't own this because this candle was washing pretty good and I really thought this next candle was gonna give me this level but it didn't and it turned back around on me so all I could do is wait and use the nine as a guide once I lost it I went ahead and took it off and that was the end of that but you know still a nice opportunity here nice trade and I waited again to see if this thing was going to reject because I still felt we could get this level I was still feeling that but we started getting bullish here and then as I was looking at this I said you know I like it if we get this pop and it goes green on the day and we get this move over to VWAP well as I was looking at this we have VWAP here we had the 200 here and I didn't want to take the trade up under that you know I'm I'm pretty conservative so I waited until we got over these and went and took the trade and it still consolidated on me but it was bullish which kept you know gave me conviction so I went ahead and got uh, my first cover up here at this 4353 level I think I covered at 4 at 51 and I was looking for the move on up really thought it could get this you know if it did all of this and it pushes this level why not get 4409 again you know this is what it was testing early on but couldn't quite make it and I ended up stopping out you know once I lost this this one candle closed below the 20 and the 9 and I went ahead and got out when this candle opened week and you know only smart thing to do was to get out so that was my trade yesterday um, two decent trades this week um, decent small profit I'm not worrying about my small account because there's nothing I can do with it with the market being the way it is um, there was a trade I wanted to take this morning but with my the platform freezing up that kind of messed that up so you know I'm not gonna worry about that you know maybe just sit out the rest of the week you know unless I see something real promising tomorrow that would be good for that you know I'm not gonna go backwards I mean I'm growing and this, and this is what I did when I was when I started trading and I had a smaller account you know when the days weren't ideal I didn't trade and I still do that today to this date if it's not ideal for my setups and and it's not and it's gonna expose me to more risk than I'm comfortable with then I sit out because this is about me making money it's not about me trying to display an image to anybody or to prove to anybody that I can trade you know the only person I have to answer to is myself in trading and that's the only person you have to answer to so you know keep that in mind but that's it for me today uh, hopefully you know this week may pick up we may get a good day tomorrow is Wednesday I it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me and then it die out Thursday and Friday but you know we'll see that's why we sit in the market all day because you never know what's gonna happen but hope everybody has a great evening great night or morning wherever you are in the world and we'll get back at this bright and early in chat